Lord. If you have your Bibles, go to Psalms chapter 67. Psalms chapter 67. And uh, as we, if y'all heard last night or maybe seen last night, you had, had the fireworks uh, going. And if you had uh, the chance to go to different uh, towns, they had the fireworks at different times. But guess what? It wouldn't remind you of a celebration uh, or independence. Uh, no, but I know, I know. Living in the United States of America, I'm going to praise the Lord. No matter what. Praise the Lord. Hey, those people are going to make fun of me. It's okay. I still will praise the Lord. Amen. Psalms chapter 67, verse 1. God be merciful unto us. How many of y'all ask God to do that? Oh, I do that constantly. Lord, you see what's going on. Lord, I pray. Be merciful on us. Yes. And bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Sailor. How many of y'all do that? I do. Lord, I pray. May somehow, some way, someone sees you in a situation. Not me, but you are allowing me to work, be a worker for you, or be a soldier for you. That thy way may be known upon the earth. I say in health among all nations, that the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. How many of us are still praising the Lord now? Mm -hmm. How many people saying, what's going on? God, I don't understand. But let me tell you something, I'm still going to praise you. How hard is it? Sometimes it's hard for me. Lord, I don't know what's going on, but I'm still going to praise you. Something happens, I don't know what. I'm going to praise you. Amen. you. Maybe driving down the road and you get a flat. I'm already running late, but what am I getting a flat for? I'm using that just as a little excuse. But you know what? I'm going to praise you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to praise you. Yesterday, uh, I went to Atwoods and got some, some water. And, uh, boy, I was <clears throat> tired because I got called in early got tired. I said, okay, I'm going to go home. I was loading things up in the car and uh, you say, well, Jimmy, are you, is this a story to buy? No, because all the glory is to God. And uh, anyways, loading up and all of a sudden a, a man comes behind me and uh, he said, you don't know me. And I looked at him and I said, you're right. I have no idea who you are. But he said, my name is so-and-so and and, uh, and, of course, uh, with everything going on, he said, uh, just, I'm down on my luck. And uh, I said, well, I said, uh, are you from around here? And he told me, he said, are you familiar with this place? And I kind of was chuckled and laughing on the inside. And I'm thinking, boy, I guess I look like a foreigner uh, being <laughs> not from this place. And uh, I said, yes, sir. And he said, well, I was from... Uh, I've lived in Dallas and Fort Worth for 2000. I, I came here. And uh, he said, it's just been rocky. I said, yes, sir, it has been. Uh, especially this year has been uh, quite not the same like I, like previous years. And he has, so he told me his story. And so, uh, and he even showed me his ID. He said, I, I'm, you know, I live here and there. And uh, he gave me, uh, you know, a book down story. I don't believe it. And uh, he said, well, was he telling you the truth? I don't know. But let me tell you something. Boy, we were talking about scripture. I said, I said, do you remember Job? And he seems to be a very intelligent person. And he said, yeah. And uh, yeah, he lost everything. I said, oh, yes. He lost everything at the beginning. But do you remember what happened at the end? He said, I sure do. The Lord blessed him. And yet, uh, but in the middle of it, I said, you had people what telling you, oh, just curse God, it's all right. Just, just, even his wife did that. But yet, I told him, keep your head up, keep your chin up. Look forward, don't backward, don't, don't look backwards. And boy, I like to tell you something, at the end I said, hey, just rely on Jesus Christ. And boy, it was a time of, of showing what truly a light is in this world. And he left. Uh, he left. And uh, 
I got in the car. I said, God, I don't know. I really don't know. He said, well, what did you do? I, nothing to, to say. But it's between me and God. But I said, I don't know if this story was true or not. But let me tell you something, God. I'm going to praise you, though, for what, what odd reason. Because I know I was kind of stressed as it been a long day of work. But yet someone to stop me and then all of a sudden to start talking about you, Lord. I give you all the praise and glory. All the praise and glory. <clears throat> See, we live in a time that we must do that often. Even as Christians, do we get bogged down? Yes, we do. Do we get tired? Yes. Do we just want we just want to go home to relax? Oh, who's in the world is just stop me? Uh, like I said, I was rolling it up and I'll say, hey, you don't know me, but can I talk to you? So sure. Now I could have said, no, I didn't have time. He told me a story and uh, he said, you know, I asked somebody, hey, can I talk with you? And he was me. He was mean to me. He said, I just wanted to talk. I said, well, some people are like that. And I said, and some people with everything going on, I said, maybe they have the guard up. And he broke down in tears. He said, thank you. I said, don't thank me, thank the Lord. I said, because you have helped me so much. And like I said, my relationship with with God in the car was just amazing. I said, I don't know, God, why you had him come into my presence with everybody walking in this parking lot. I have no idea. But let me tell you something. Lord, I pray you bless him. I pray that you bless the United States of America, even with everything going on. Lord, please continue. Lord, no matter what I see, and you know, y'all know y'all can be disgusted about what you see with all the chaos. But I'm going to praise you. Let all the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nation upon the earth. Be glad and sing. Was I saying? Boy, I sure did. Like I said, maybe God had that person to come in to get glad. What's that commercial says? Uh, don't be mad, get glad. And then you pass some of those out, huh? But then to start singing, singing for joy. That was the Holy Spirit in me. Boy, like I said, I got home and I, I shared that. I said, I'm not to brag or anything, but what God has done. You say, well, something else. Hey, I get that confused. Don't let it. You confuse me. I said, Lord, well, what a blessing it was that I could do that for you. Well, I'll cheer you. Places are, are people that, that, that hurt you and they'll, they'll backstab you and they'll talk about you. You don't worry about that. You don't worry about that. You praise the Lord, especially in this country. And let me tell you something. You could have been somewhere else, couldn't you? You could have. But for what reason the Lord helped had you to be and be born here or be here? In verse 5, it says, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Why would you repeat something? To because it's important. It's important to repeat. With everything, like I said, going on, continue to praise God. Praise Verse 6. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Even when someone does, does you wrong. Do you say, Lord, bless them? Lord, do you please increase your blessing upon them? Like I said, I don't know the gentleman, but I did. I said, Lord, bless him. Bless him. And when, like I said, we talked about talents, and I said, he said, well, I, I can do this and I can do that, but uh, my knees, I said, cling on to him constantly. You know, because tomorrow is a new day. 
Is it promised? No. But believe there's a new day. You know, God works in mysterious ways. He gets people into your life at a special time. For what reason it might be? You might have a different reason than me. But being in the United States of America, let's praise the Lord constantly. In that small chapter, and then the verse 7, God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall be their end. Do you trust God's word? Do you trust every word that he says in this scripture? God says he'll bless us. Let me tell you something. I trust every single word in this Bible. You say, well, some of the things the, the world says, well, it's changed. Let me tell you something. God's word has never changed. Right. It is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Either you truly believe all the words that's in the scripture, or you don't. That's right. But as we live in the greatest, I, I truly believe, and I love so dearly, in the United States, USA, Let's praise the Lord. Just like this says. Oh, let the nation be glad and sing for joy. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can get caught up in being worried about what's going on. And y'all know that. But you know what? We can also be caught up in being glad. We, we can be caught up in singing joy and praise, praises. We can get, get caught up in, in counting your blessings. We can get caught up, hey, can I be a light for you? Can I shine for you, God, just like in verse 1? If God shines his ring around us, shouldn't we do that to others? But let me tell you something, it could have been easy for me. He said, well, you're the pastor, you're the preacher, you're supposed to. Uh, turn around and be nice, you're supposed to. But do we not have uh, that thoughts where we, hey, I'm so tired, I'm ready to go home. Why are you stopping me? I've got, I got to be somewhere. I'm on a tight schedule. Have y'all been there before? Like I said, even with the uh, flat tire, we were, that gentleman and I, we were talking. Actually, we used that as an example. I said, there are times where, hey, I might have run a late. I know, I, I said, well, there's one time we were, there was a little pursuit going on, and the boy jumped in my vehicle, and the boy took off. And, uh, and boy, we, we were uh, chasing him, and we, as in, uh, my sergeant and I, and then there was a, a sheriff, uh, he was up, oh, he was about three or four blocks ahead of us when he called it out. And uh, we got on this, this road, uh, and it was narrow, uh, this bridge, you, you want to say, because one side had the lake on, and the other side as, as well. Well, I said, oh boy, it's exciting. Uh, and of course, I, I was ready, and I heard this noise. I said, no! So, instead of pulling over, I had to stop in my lane. He said, why didn't you pull over in the shoulder? There was no shoulder. There was a guardrail. And all of a sudden, I said, oh no, I got out. I said, oh no, I got a flat. So I called in and I said, I'm out. Uh, uh, I'm out of the chase. Uh, I said, I got a flat tire. So anyways, thank goodness the city mechanic lived down the road once you passed the, the dam. And so he came up and, and uh, uh, well, before he did that, I, I got in the trunk. I pulled out the spare. And let me tell you something, I undid the, the wheel put it on there, I said, I can hurry and do it and get on the road. So I got on there, I put the tire back on, and I tightened it up, and then I looked. Have you ever been in that situation? Even the spare tire's flat. I said, well, I can't go anywhere now. Uh, you know, your hopes and dreams are just shadows. Well, like I said, the city mechanic, uh, he got word that I had a flat on the bridge. So he, he, was, he was coming back, and I was looking. Just to top it off, 
But this big old cloud started coming. And the wind started picking up. I said, oh, Lord, please don't. And uh, please, not right now. I'm stranded. Was there cars passing me? Yes. But and they said I had it. And they just waved at me. I was waving at them, trying to fly. And say, hey, y'all. But they thought I was waving because they kept on going. Well, the mechanic showed up. I said, I said, thank you for showing up. He said, you should have called me. I said, well, I, well right now, I'm in disbelief. And he said, look at the storm's coming. I said, I know that. I said, I'm distracted. And then the uh, rain, you thought they were probably quarter-sized raindrops. Just bam, 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 hitting us. And he was, he finally uh, grabbed uh, an air hose because he had a little tank and and he filled up the spare time. And he said, well, we'll get back to the city. I said, well, I'm not going anywhere else. i got to get back. But I thought, man, I told that gentleman, I said, sometimes, God, you think you have a spare tire in your trunk. Hey, I'm good. I got it. And if something happens, oh, I'll just put that tire back on. Let me tell you something. Then that's why. I said, maybe God is getting your attention. So, you can help someone else. Yeah. Tough times, life can be tough, yes. Or you're in a situation that it might be tough. But I said, continue to, to praise him constantly. I said, there's doors and opportunities you just got to look for. Sometimes you got to work for them a little bit to achieve them. But I said, we live in the greatest nation. Praise the Lord. Hey, you're breathing, aren't you? I said, somehow, some way, I say that... Uh, uh, you went to a restaurant, praise the Lord, you were able to eat. He said, I did. Like I said, after leaving him, walk his merry way, I, I went back home. Maybe that's what I needed. So I could praise the Lord and the greatest country and sing and be glad. What about you in this time? We live in the greatest country. Are we going to constantly praise the Lord no matter what? No matter with all the guidelines going on and all the things that's going on, are you going to still praise Him? Someone gives you a, a bad day or stopping you in your track even though you want to go somewhere else for what all reasons? Praise the Lord. There's a reason maybe uh, a situation happened, an encounter that's going on. Are you going to shine like it's says here, and calls his face to shine upon us. If God shines his face upon us, shouldn't we shine for him? Mm -hmm. No matter where we go and who we see? Mm -hmm. Let's pray.